Okay, we're going to have a look at a typical example of a question involving bearings. And I've written down a question. I've already highlighted the important information. Okay, so it says a ship leaves the port P and travels for 50 kilometers on a bearing of 0, 06 0 degrees. Eh? So 60 degrees. Then it changes direction, after which it continues to sail for another 40 kilometers on a bearing of 120 degrees. And then it sets for anchor at point A. Okay. Now the question then is calculate how far the ship is away from the port. So what is the distance between uh, the port and the ship when it sets for anchor? Okay. So yeah, whenever you get problems like this, yeah, highlight the important information and then you draw a diagram. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, Let's uh, have a start. I'll, I always like to start with a little compass rose. Okay, there we go. And the ship is in the middle, and that is P, uh, the port. Okay, and they say for 50 kilometers, 0, 060. Zero. Okay, so where is he going to? I'll do that in green. Well, a bearing of 60 degrees that is from the north in a clockwise direction, 60 degrees. So, like that, yeah. And I'll immediately put in the information where that is 60 degrees, yeah. And the length of that line is 50 kilometers, yeah. So now the ship is at that point. Yeah, we call that a waypoint because the ship is going to change direction. Uh, I'll draw another compass rows over here. There we go. And his new direction is 120 degrees. Yeah, that's the bearing for 40 kilometers. So 120 degrees. Start counting from north. 120 degrees. So that's 90. And then he goes that direction. And that is 40 kilometers. Yeah. And hopefully you realize that um, now I have so many colors here. So that's 40. That this angle is how many degrees? Yeah, if the whole thing is 120, then this angle here is 30 degrees. Eh? 90 uh, plus 30 will make you 120. Now the question is, what is the distance, because that's point A where he sets for anchor, what is the distance between those two points? And as I said before, that many of these questions will involve sine rules, cosine rules, and yeah, more of those uh, types of calculations. Okay. Now, uh, where do we start? Uh, what can I do? Can I find? Well, can I use ordinary trigonometry to find x? No, because it's not a right angle triangle. Eh? I cannot use Pythagoras either. So perhaps the sine rule. Well, do I have his teammates? No, I don't. Uh, maybe I can find it out. Can I find it out? Well, for instance, I could say that this one is also 60 degrees. Am I right? Yes, because they are parallel. Yeah, so I can say that one is 60 degrees. Okay, now if this is 30, how much is this one? Yeah, it's also going to be 60 degrees because the whole thing is 90. Okay, so that entire angle here, if I look at the big triangle, it's going to be 120 degrees. Okay, I have X. Um, but do I have a full team for the sign rule somewhere? No, this looks as if it's 30, yeah, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's going up a little bit. So I don't have a full uh, team, so I can use the cosine rule. Huh? A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2 BC, the cosine of A. Yeah, so X squared equals B squared plus c squared minus 2bc, I'm just going to say here, times the cosine of 120 degrees. Okay, now I can plug all of that in my calculator, yeah, so 50 squared plus 40 squared minus 2 times 40 times uh, 15, times the cosine of 120 equals, and that's going to give me a very large number because that is the square, so I still have to square root it. 
and correct to three significant figures. That is going to give me 78.1 kilometers. So that is going to be my answer. 78.1 kilometers, which is the distance from where the ship sails, uh, sets for anchor and the port. And I found that by using the cosine rule. Uh, but yeah, the, the difficult part is, is to draw the diagram. Eh? So you're going to start with a rose yeah, every time. 60 degrees at the bearing, so that means from the north, 60 degrees in a clockwise direction for 50 kilometers. There he changes direction, so I draw another rose, yeah, 120 degrees for 40 kilometers. And once I have that diagram and I put all the information in it, it's a fairly straightforward cosine rule. Okay, we'll have another question for you.